COVID news to get to tonight. First, officials are warning that the U.S. faces a double surge of infections caused by the dangerous Delta variant and the new rapidly spreading Omicron. Officials say cases could engulf the country in the coming weeks. Now, the rising numbers prompting Pennsylvania today to ask FEMA for health care workers for hospitals and nursing homes suffering from staffing shortages. Statewide, COVID hospitalizations are up more than two thirds from last month. And Jenny, here in Philadelphia, officials telling people to stay home for Christmas. Yeah, this news coming out today, and it is not the news that anyone wanted to hear, and it's certainly not the news that Dr. Bedigal wanted to announce, but she says that it's crucial because of the rapidly rising case counts. Holiday attractions at Dilworth Park drawing a festive crowd on a Wednesday night just 10 days before Christmas. I've never skated before, but this is a really cool experience. Children playing, parents pressing pause on holiday stress until we approached, sharing the news that just hours earlier, the Philadelphia Health Commissioner warned against family gatherings this year as COVID numbers spike once again. Not what anyone wants to hear, especially not Jackson Mitchell. I just wanted to end a great year right now this year. Dion Mitchell says last year her family delivered holiday meals to relatives since they couldn't get together. This year she was hoping things would be different. It's really hard. Um, I don't want that to happen. I want to spend time with my family. So we've been talking about what we're going to do. Maybe things can be different with precautions. Rapid tests and small get togethers are encouraged. Sticking to celebrations within your own household is ideal, according to the Philadelphia Health Department, which says COVID-19 related hospitalizations are up 50 percent. It's hard and it feels impossible and it feels unfair. But I know and our contact tracing tells us that these gatherings when we get together with friends and family are when we infect each other with COVID. Health Commissioner Dr. Cheryl Bettigold says it's likely that the current surge stemmed from Thanksgiving gatherings and she does not want to see the numbers climb any higher into the new year. Please do not hold or attend holiday parties indoors. It's just too dangerous. So you heard Dr. Benegal pushing people uh, to stay away from those big holiday get togethers, continue wearing those masks and get those shots. Back to you. Good advice. Thanks, Jen.